Hey YouTube, so I'm back again uh, with another product that I ordered from Temu. Now, this here, it's uh, advertised as being a 30 watt solar panel. Now, I feel like I'm going to need to adjust some expectations here. Now, people have been ordering products from Temu, especially things like uh, these solar panels, and it's not just Temu, it's Amazon as well. A lot of these panels that uh, people are ordering are actually being advertised as being capable of providing more power than uh, what they actually can possibly provide under the absolute best of circumstances. And before I go over uh, testing this product with you, I, I feel like we need to talk about what actually can be realistically expected from a product of this size. Now, solar power, or uh, the light from the sun at noon, under the absolute best of circumstances, uh, if you're at about sea level and, uh, and you're getting the sun at noon and you live at the equator, the standard estimate for how much power is available total from the sunlight uh, for typical solar cells is about a thousand watts for every square meter of space that you have. Now, this panel here is rated at being 30 watts, but is that rating actually even possible? Well, if we look at the solar panel, it's 25 centimeters long, so uh, a quarter meter in this direction, and 12 and a half centimeters in this direction. And we can do some quick calculations. So, uh, if we open up our little calculator over here, we can see that 0. Uh, 0 0.25 times 0 0.125 that gives us a surface area of 0 0.3125 square meters times 1000 watts and we must remember that typical solar panels are you know around 18 to 22 percent efficient and the absolute best solar panels that you can uh, that you could buy right now are about like maybe if you're lucky 25% efficient so let's let's pretend we have a 25% efficient one if it's 25% efficient the absolute maximum power this solar panel could possibly give out is 7.8 watts or 7.8125 if we have an 18% efficient panel then we should expect 5.625 watts so now that our expectations have been properly adjusted, let's check and see how much power does this solar panel put out. Does it put out enough power uh, or enough voltage inside that it can uh, do a bit of a charge off of ambient light? I don't really particularly think so. I'm not super confident that it does that. But nonetheless, we can check. So. I'm going to open up uh, this application that I have here on my phone. It's called DevCheck. Now, right now, I can see uh, the draw rate on my battery. It's currently taking about 100, 123. It jumps to 250. But it, it sticks around about 100, 120 milliamps. And with the upward spikes in power draw, I would say probably averaging around 120 milliamps. This is what uh, DevCheck looks like. On the screen. Now, if I plug into the bottom, I can see here that under the uh, the ambient light of just this room, there is not enough voltage uh, to get this going. You can see that here; it's still in the discharging state. However, if I take the panel and I put it into direct sunlight. Now we can see, uh, here, there we go. Now we can see that I'm getting 1.1, 1.2 watts of charging. 
Uh, it's the net power input over here. I'm getting about 100 milliamps. And oh, here's a good, uh, a good flash of sunlight. Oh, look at that. Over five watts with the sun peeking out from the clouds. 6.8 watts actually at, uh, at one of those uh, peaks there. So that's quite good. 2.8, 2.1, one watt. Now, whether or not you think that this is potentially a ripoff is going to be dependent on whether or not you, uh, you calculated the, uh, what you should actually expect versus just trusting what uh, the advertise rating was. Now, just to get a slightly better check, I'm even going to come to the window over here. Now let's see what we get in the window. So in the window, under uh, the direct sun, I'm getting, well actually and the sun is even kind of behind some little bit of cloudy cover. But I'm getting about 1.1, 1 1.4, 1 or sorry, 0 0.14, 0 0.15 amps, so 140, 150 milliamps. Come away from the window. As long as I'm, uh, as long as I'm in the decent sunlight here, I seem to be doing kind of okay. Now. This rate of charging over here, it's, uh, you know, it's obviously not super impressive. You know, you're not going to be, you're not going to be powering your house off of this. But it's more than enough to keep your phone going when, uh, uh, when you're on a road trip or if you're out hiking. And it has a fairly nice little case with it. Now, this amount of solar panel over here provides roughly the same power output as these two panels which I purchased over here. So, these two panels, uh, they cost about $20 for both of the panels, and I had to design and 3D print these cases. And then I also had to solder wires onto the back and then connect these uh, wires to this uh, USB female uh, adapter. So is, uh, is this panel that I got from Tamu a bad value? I don't think so because I didn't have to assemble anything. Now, if I take these panels and I put them under the same lighting conditions, there is a little bit of uh, an initial capacitance to it. And as I've seen many other times when I go to do the charging, it takes a little while for the, uh, for the current rating to settle out. Now the total surface area on uh, these panels here is greater than the total surface area that I have on this panel from Tamu. Sorry about that, I just knocked this over. And I make sure that it, uh, they're both under good, uh, good direct sunlight. Then the charging current that I'm receiving from these panels is approximately the same as the charging current that I'm receiving from the panel from Tamu. So just to show that, uh, you can see over here, uh, hopefully you can see, it's uh, hovering around 1.1 watts of charging. So at the moment a little bit better, but let's do a quick check with the panel from Temu and make sure that we're comparing apples to apples because the sunlight intensity is fluctuating. So if I stick this panel up here against those panels in the same location, I'm getting about 200, 230, about one watt of charging. So 
it's not a 30 watt panel not even close however it is doing the job uh, of charging the phone and it's doing it quite effectively these panels uh, that they put on top of here they're obviously pretty pretty good but you do have to remember that there is a limit to what these could pick up now the only way you could possibly get 30 watts out of panels of this size would be if they were 100 percent efficient at converting the sunlight uh, back into electricity that's completely unrealistic but if you do the calculations for what you can expect from efficiency for a typical solar panel and you look at the actual surface area that's available here they do put out exactly what you would expect them to put out so while temu is committing uh, false advertising with these panels they are still providing a perfectly good and functional product the cost of this solar charger was about fifteen dollars the cost of these two panels was about twenty dollars I had to print the casing for them and I had to do manual assembly work here they work they're fantastic they work fine same with this it works is it what they told me it was gonna be no but it works and uh, nicely enough they do have these little uh, grommet holes and they sent two of these little of these little clips so you could hang it off of something hang it off a bag or you could potentially print uh, a little or not print but uh, get little suction cups to and hang this off of your window and use that for charging your phone if you're looking to have an environmentally conscious way to charge your phone all in all i actually think that regardless of the false advertising this is a relatively good product for a pretty good deal it it functions correctly and it charges my phone and uh, and it provides a calculable expectable amount of power in doing so anyway that's it for now youtube thanks for watching we'll see you later